start this hat, you're going to need a pair of scissors, a four and a half millimeter and a five millimeter circular set of knitting needles, some worsted weight yarn, and a darning needle. I use the bent tip. And I'm gonna put the pattern from Yarn Inspirations in the description box so you can download that. And I'm gonna make a Santa hat out of mine. And what you have to do is you have to cast on a multiple of four plus two. Um, since I have a relatively small head, I'm only gonna cast on 80 plus two, so I'm gonna cast on 82 stitches. And how I determine the length of my yarn by doing the long tail cast on method, I just wrap some yarn around my needle. I'm gonna wrap it 20 times. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And rather than wrapping it 80, wrapping it around 80 times, I'm only doing 20. And then I'm gonna save where I took it off. And then I'm going to fold the yarn and that's gonna be 40, the length of 40. And then I'm going to fold it again. That's going to be the length of 60. And then I'm gonna fold it again, and that's going to be the length of 80. And then I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna save a little bit more, just in case, you know, it's not long enough. But it's better to have more than less. So anyway, you're gonna start by doing a slip knot and then you're going to put your loop on your needle and you're going to have your finger like this kind of like a like a gun type I guess you're gonna do it like this have your three fingers here and you're gonna grab that yarn and you're gonna hold it with your pinky and your, uh, your ring finger right here. And I'm gonna tighten that loop. And then you're just going to cast on your stitches. I'm gonna cast on 82. And how you do that is you go under this and then you go under this one. And then you've got your first, though actually your second stitch cast it on. Um, the first loop that you put on your hook is considered your first stitch. So we're gonna do that again, so that's two. We're gonna scoop and scoop. That's three. I'm gonna go slow. Slow again. And you're going to continue doing this until you have your multiple of four plus two. And I'm going to continue until I have 82 stitches on my needle. And then I will meet you back so we can do our first row of our hat pattern. Okay, now that I've cast on my 82 stitches, you're gonna hold your left needle into your left hand and your cast on stitches should be on your left needle. You're gonna take your right needle and you're, we're going to knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, all the way down. And the way I knit is continental knitting. You're gonna push your needle into the back. You're gonna bring it around and then you're gonna scoop it up through that stitch. That's one knit stitch. You're gonna go through that loop, scoop it up through that loop. That's two knit stitches. And the way I purl is I bring my yarn into the front of my left needle, and then I scoop through that loop. I turn my needle like this, and I scoop it through the back and then I take it off the needle. So I go through the front of that loop, turn my needle this way, 
and scoop and then bring it off. And then I'm going to do two knit stitches. And I'm going to purl again. Just like that. Through the front, twist the yarn, go through the back, slide it off. Then you're going to do two knits. So go ahead and do your knit two, purl two all the way down, and your last two stitches should be knit stitches. Okay, I, I finished all of my 82 knit and purl stitches, so I turned my work around and now I'm ready to start my next row. And your next row is going to be purl two, knit two, purl two, knit two all the way down. So when you see your purl stitches, you're always going to purl on top of those. When you see your knit stitches, you're going to knit on top of those. So you're going to start off by purling two. And then we're going to knit two. And see how I'm my knits are on top or my pearls are on top of each other and then my knits are on top of each other that way you know that you're following the right sequence down the line so you'll continue to do this until your piece measures four and a half inches tall and that's going to be the brim of the hat so Keep doing your knitting and your knit two, your purl twos, your purl twos, your knit twos, all that good stuff. Keep doing that. And then um, once you've come to four and a half inches with the size of your, your brim, then I will meet you back here and then we will start with the body of the hat. I've completed my four and a half inches. So now when you finish your last row and you're about to begin the body of the hat, make sure that you're ready to start on a purl row. So your first two stitches are gonna be purl stitches and that's how you know that you're on the right row. So since I'm making a Santa hat, I am going to change my color and I'm going to snip off my yarn and then I'm going to add my color. So what we're going to do is we're going to purl our first two stitches and I'm going to add my red. And then I'm going to purl And then I'm gonna tighten up my yarn here in a second right now. So I've purled those two stitches. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie these two ends together right here, just so my yarn doesn't get all floppy. And then I'm going to continue with the body of the hat. So I'm gonna make sure now that the next two stitches are knit stitches, I'm gonna make sure my yarn's in the back. So I can start my knit stitches. Let me get that back there like that. Whoops. All right. I always hate changing yarn because it's always like a big mess sometimes. Okay, so now we're going to knit these two stitches together. So you're gonna knit, you're gonna go through both loops you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna act like you're doing the full knit but you're not gonna complete it you're gonna stop right here and then you're gonna split these two apart and you're gonna take the tip of your needle and go in between them and through the back and you're gonna yarn over again and then you're gonna come up through those 
two white stitches and you're going to see those two loops then you just take your yarn off and you've got two new loops right there now we're going to purl the next two and then we're going to knit these two together again yarn over bring it through both loops Go in between those two stitches, go back up, yarn over, and pull that yarn in between. Slide off your needle. Purl two. We're going to do that again. Every knit, every knit stitch, you're going to knit two together. Then you're going to purl two. You're going to do that all the way down. Then you're going to purl two. So continue that until you get to the end of your row, and I'll meet you back when I'm done with my last two purl stitches. Okay, I'm at my last two purl stitches. And one thing I forgot to mention is before we started this row, we were supposed to change our needles to our five millimeters. So even though I did this row already, it's no big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and switch them out now. And get that taken care of. Let me go ahead and And these are my Paris by Knitter, Knitter's Pride. I have the um, Paris interchangeable needles that I got for my birthday last year. I'm just twisting it on. Let me tighten it. Okay, got that. Now we're going to turn our work. And this row is just worked just like we did the ribbing in the beginning. You just do this same. You just, you're going to knit two. Let's purl two. knit two, purl two, and you're going to do that all the way down the row. And then when you're done with that row, then you're going to do your two purls, and then you're going to do your two knit together twisted rib stitch. And you just do that until your hat is about 12 and a half inches long. And then I'll show you how to cast off. And then we'll sew it up. And you'll have your hat. So continue to do your knits and purls on this row. And remember, when it starts with two purl rows, or when it starts with two purl stitches, that's when you know that that's when you do your knit two together with your rib, your twisted rib stitch. So keep on doing that and then I will meet you when my hat is about 12 inches long and then we'll cast off and put it together. Okay, I finished the body and now my um, piece measures 12 inches. If you're doing the size larger than the 18 inch around, then you need to do a 12 minute, 12 and a half inches in length. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bind off. So I'm gonna have, when I bind off, I have this, the inside portion of the hat facing me. And we're going to bind off in pattern. 
which means you're gonna knit two like so. And then you're gonna take this piece and loop it over the other stitch. And since this is a purl stitch, you're gonna purl that. Then you're gonna take this stitch, loop it over that stitch that you just created. If I can grab it, there it goes. And then you have another purl stitch. So you're gonna purl that. You're gonna bring that one over. And you have a knit stitch. So you're gonna knit that one and bring it over. And your next stitch is a knit. Gonna bring that one over. Your next two are purls. So you're gonna continue doing this all the way down. And then when I get to the last stitch, I'll show you how to cut it and how to um, secure it. Okay, I've got one loop left on my needle. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut off a long tail. So I'll have enough to sew along the top and the side of the hat. And you're just gonna pull that loop all the way through. And that secures it right there. So you can put your needles aside. Then you're gonna fold your hat like this. And then we're going to sew, actually, Let's sew it inside out. And you're gonna, we're gonna sew along the top and along the side. So, um, go ahead and thread your needle and then once I get everything situated on here and my needle threaded, we'll start sewing it. Okay, I've got my needle threaded and what you're going to do is you're going to fold your hat and you're going to line up these v stitches and we're going to whip stitch into these v stitches so continue doing this until you get to your last stitch and then we'll fasten off and then we will start our side seam. Okay, I seamed my top and now I'm gonna go down the side. I cut off my yarn and um, left a tail and I'm gonna weave that in later, but then I have reattached it on the side so we can sew up the side seam. And then when I get to the white portion, I'm gonna add some white to sew up my side seam here. But what I'm doing on my side seam is I'm just whip stitching just like we did across the top and just whip stitch all the way down. And then you'll just weave in your tails when you're finished and then i'm going to make two little white pom-poms to put on my hat like right at the tips here and um, then it's going to be completed my santa hat will be completed so go ahead and finish seaming up your sides and then once I'm done, I'm going to turn my hat inside out and then I'll show you the how it looks without the pom-poms and then I'll do the pom-poms and then attach those. Okay, I've completed my hat and now I'm going to do make two little pom-poms for the top and I'm using these clover pom-pom makers and some white yarn and the way I do this is I open both sides like so and then I take my yarn and 
then I, I'm going to start wrapping it around one side like this and you're wrapping on them around both of these so you're going to wrap around both sides and continue wrapping until you fill it up and then i'll show you how to get to the other side finished wrapping this side and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring my working yarn over to this portion and I'm going to go through these two little things right here and then I'm going to close it and then I'm going to take my yarn to the other side and I'm going to continue wrapping on this side so keep doing that and when I did wrap my yarn I made sure that my yarn was level to make sure that I had enough on there to make a nice full pom-pom. So um, continue wrapping, and then when I'm done with this side, I'll come back. Okay, I finished the other side, and see how I have the yarn level with this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my really huge industrial <laughs> clippers, because I find these are the best to cut through all this thickness of the pom-pom, and then I'm gonna close it like that and then you're gonna take your industrial scissors and you're gonna go through that center part and you're just gonna clip it all the way up now I tried using regular scissors with this and it killed my hands so I find that this is the easiest and quickest way to cut through this mess and then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, you gotta make sure that all that yarn is cut. I still see that piece that I brought to cross over. I'm gonna go ahead and cut through there. And then, don't open it yet. You're gonna take a long piece of yarn, and this is what you're gonna use to secure the inside of the pom-pom. And you're gonna thread your yarn up through this middle seam. Make sure both sides of your yarn is even. And then I'm gonna plop that in. And I'm going to flip it. I'm going to take both, both ends of my yarn and I'm going to put my hand on here and I'm going to pull. You'll feel it click and you know it's secure. And then I'm going to tie a knot really tight. And I'm going to secure it again. And then you're gonna open up your pom-pom. Then you're gonna open up your other side. And then you're gonna pull these apart. And then we're gonna give our pom-pom a haircut. So you kind of shake it. And then you're just gonna trim away and Give your pom-pom a nice haircut to even it out. And then when I'm done giving my pom-pom its haircut, I'll come back and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna actually gonna make another one while, when I finish this one and then I'm gonna attach it to my hat and then you'll see how my hat looks with the pom-poms on it.